and so to the conclusion where I um, reflect on the idea that the whole Bible uh, and the book of Psalms as well, interestingly, finishes on a note of praise that it, it, it doesn't simply tell the story and finish there. Um, but, but there's a sense of the way in which walking through the biblical story necessarily issues in uh, doxology rather than simply recognition or, or understanding. Um, and it's, it's one thing that, that I guess if you, you, you read through the book, um, I don't probably do enough of. And so I wanted to make sure that in the conclusion, I, I talked about how our response to the biblical story is not simply a, a, a rational one. We don't simply read it. Now oh, there's a tool of cultural critique and that's interesting over there. Um, we are misreading the Bible if, if, if that's the only way we engage with it. Um, e even if the reason that we're reading it is for cultural critique. So I, I'm you know, setting aside devotional reading uh, and the way in which the scripture makes us wise for salvation and in the, you know, the way in which it's living and active divides joints and marrow, even setting that aside, just looking in terms of the way in which we engage with the Bible for cultural critique. Um, I think if, if we're not spilling over regularly into doxology, then there's something fundamentally deficient about our cultural critique. And anyway, that's, that's the argument I try to make um, in, the, uh, uh, in the conclusion. Um, and then I, I just try and send out a rallying cry, really, for the development, the continuing development of Christian cultural, social and critical theory, which, which I think is fundamental um, to, to, to the church navigating late modern society, understanding how the Bible is brought to bear on the culture in which we live. And I suppose... You know, there's lots of Christian cultural theory, isn't there? I suppose what, what I'm calling for is a cultural theory that takes the Bible as its starting point, that, that uses the rhythms and patterns of the biblical storyline as ground zero for the way that it engages with culture, and that, that takes Augustine City of God as, as one of the great examples of how to do that. You know, he looks at the whole of late Roman culture, doesn't he? He doesn't just pick on particular ideas he doesn't like and hammer away at them. Uh, he tries to encompass the whole of the culture and see how it all fits together, or in case of late Rome, doesn't fit together, uh, but is, is, is really quite hilariously contradictory, as he points out at various points. Um, and then he brings the whole of the Bible storyline, doesn't he, to bear on that culture. Um, and, and that's the sort of Christian critical theory that, that, that I'm blowing the trumpet for in the conclusion uh, that, that, that takes the whole of the Bible seriously and tries to bring the whole of the Bible to bear on the whole of culture. It doesn't just sort of parachute in like a SWAT team with a couple of verses and throw them at a particular cultural event or artifact or movement and then parachute out again, but that does what Augustine does. Um, and the more Christians in all walks of life uh, that that I think can be seeking to to bring that sort of thinking to bear on our society. I think that by God's grace, the the healthier and more vibrant and more Jeremiah twenty nine y um, the the church will be. Um, so let's do it.